Welcome everybody to this tutorial video. So you join me on the runway in this rather boring freeware aircraft. This is called the RGV2. What we're going to do today, add some nice basic PBR to it, make it look a little bit shinier. So here's how we do it. Okay, here she is in Plane Maker. What a beautiful machine. The first thing we've got to do, we'll go to Expert, Invisible Parts. So I've already marked two parts as invisible, purely because they look rubbish. So we won't worry about those. What we need to focus on is the landing gear. We need to make one, two, three, all the landing gear completely invisible. The next step is to generate an object from the aircraft. So that will generate a model of the plane as it currently is. This model will be placed in your X-Plane root folder. You can see here, rgv02.object. We'll cut this out, navigate to the aircraft folder. We'll create a new folder called objects and we'll paste it into there. We also need to copy across the two paint files into our objects folder. Let's go back into Plane Maker and we select standard MISC objects, add object, and we'll go to this tick box here. We can select the object we created a minute ago, press open object, close that box, and we have a gray plane. So let's go to that objects folder and open it with a text editor. You'll need to remove the folder path from the texture line. So now it will point at the texture in the objects folder. In Plane Maker, we'll quickly save the plane and reopen it. You can see now that our textures are now loading correctly which is exactly what we had before. So the question is, where does the PBR bit come in? To answer that, we've got to go back to the object in our text editor, create a new line after texture and add these lines here. So we've got texture lit, which points at the lit texture in our objects folder. We've got texture normal, which will point at a normal map that we haven't created yet. We've also got global specular and normal metalness. So with those lines added, that's all you need to do in the text editor. Go back to the object folder. Let's take a copy of the main paint file. We're going to rename that to normal. And this is going to be our normal map, our PBR. We've opened that normal texture in Photoshop. We'll go filter 3D generate normal map. So here you want to play about with blur and detail scale settings until you can see some raised parts, but they look kind of subtle. We press OK here. This gives us our normal map for the aircraft. You can see the bits we want to appear to be raised up, the windows, the doors. The problem with this aircraft is the livery is also visible. So we'll just make this plane. So the livery stripes won't appear to be raised. I'll also copy paste some windows over the stripes that are near the windows. And we'll remove these stripes on the tail as well. With your normal map complete, Flatten the image, hit save. Now back into Plane Maker. In a way, we're about to undo a lot of the things we've just done. So we go to Expert Invisible Parts. Let's hide all the parts in X Plane. So all we have is our body, our model. We then unhide our landing gear. And that's it. We have a complete aircraft. The body is our object with a PBR, the landing gear of a movable landing gear that the plane came with. Save the plane and see how it flies. And there we have it, a much shinier aircraft than we had before. There's a few marching ants, that kind of thing, because of the crappy modeling. By and large, that's a huge improvement and it's so easy to add PBR. So before I go, I want to leave you guys with one more top tip. But first, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe. Now, the important tip, if your aircraft has movable flaps, you'll want to make those invisible and visible at the same time as your landing gear. So with that said, I will see you guys soon. And remember, until next time, you can always go around. Take care.